Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda. If you are new, thank you so much for being here. If you're an OG, love you so much. Also, thank you for being here. So I got a new camera and I just need to say, you guys feel so far away from me. Typically my camera is like literally smack dab right in front of me and right now you're not. And I feel like I have separation anxiety. I hope the quality is better from looking at the viewfinder. It seems a little bit better, so we'll go with that. Little baby steps, we'll take it. So today, we're doing some January favorites. Woo! I always feel like January is like the longest month of the year. I swear it is. I know other months have 31 days in it too, but like, January just hits different. Uh, I have lots of different things, they're kind of random. It's not gonna be a super long video, which I think you guys might appreciate, maybe you don't. I don't know, let me know. I'm gonna talk about this first, considering I will, a thousand percent forget to talk about this because it's behind me. I got this cutie little mug from Home Goods, and I'm really into it. They have really cute mugs there. There's just something about a clear mug that does something to me. I don't know what it is, but um, they're really cute and I like the size and I'm not mad about it. Do you guys want to see my little spoon? Isn't he cute? Look at him. I'm not mad about it. The spoon is from Passiflora is the name of the place. They have really cute stuff there. If you are from like the Kalamazoo area, it's in Plainwell. Look it up. You won't regret it. Cutest little shop in the whole wide world. Shout out Passiflora. That's what's up. Okay, next up. We're just going to stick with randomness. I have some jewelry. Um, so Donovan for Christmas got me some jewelry and... I was a big dum-dum and I told him wrong sizes. <laughs> so I had to send the items back to get the proper size. Um, but these right here, so this bracelet right here plus this ring and then my double necklace that I have on is all from Alexa Kelly is the name of the brand. They have the most stunning pieces and the price range, so it's not cheap. Okay, I'll tell you that much right now. It's definitely like you're gonna probably spend at least like $50 to $100 on each item. Some are more than that as well. Um, but the quality of the items is so good. I'm literally obsessed with them. I want to get more bracelets because I don't know what it is about when you have like multiple bracelets on. You just feel bossy. And I want to feel bossy all the time. The star of the show, in my opinion, is the ring. Let me show you. So this is the ring right here. Like, tell me that that's just like not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. And then it does loop all the way around. So like there's diamonds, which these are not actual diamonds, but there's the um, sparkle around the whole band. And then we have this bracelet right here. Um, it's just very basic. You have a little clasp on there. It's not very little. It's actually a pretty big clasp. Um, but it's just really, I don't know, it's really basic, something you can wear every single day, but at the same time, it just makes you feel a little bit more dressed up. I think both of the items really are, even though this one is really, like, in your face and sparkly. I think that you can wear it every single day, and you best know that I will. And then this right here is the last, um, Alexa Kelly item that I have. So these are individual items, but they come together. Um, so you can just wear one of them if you wanted, or if you want to wear both, like what I have going on, you can. I will have the names of everything linked down below for you as well. Um, if you wanted to grab these specific items that I have, um, they will be linked down in the description box for you because they're freaking cute. I'm just really obsessed with it. And honestly, even for like Valentine's Day, if you wanted to like eat, eat at your person. Next up, I have this bad boy right here. Um, this is Susie B's brand. It's Susie B Fitness. Um, she is a YouTuber and she came out with her own little line and I fell in love with the print of this. Can you tell that I like tie-dye right now? But this is a booty band is pretty much what it's supposed to do. Um, I use it for like leg workouts and obviously butt workouts and it will leave you sore. I can tell you that much. I think this is technically like a heavy band. It's really nice. It's it's definitely like it doesn't get um, stretched out. I've used this a lot and it doesn't get stretched out at all which is really nice and then on the inside you do have a kind of gripping material right here so you don't have to worry about it like 
smacking you and like slapping your legs and rolling up on you. Um, honestly, like the best bands that I've ever used. I think that they're so nice. The quality is really nice. They don't get super worn out if you do a lot of exercises with them and they definitely leave you sore. If you want a good booty pump before like an actual workout, that's typically what I use mine for is I'll do like random donkey kicks or I don't know, glute bridges just with the band on um, and that alone leaves me kind of dead before my workout. So I typically will use this as a warm up. I will sometimes implement it in my actual workouts, but um, I just really love them. I think they're really great and the quality is amazing. So if you guys are in the market for some booty bands, check them out. I know this one sells out quite quickly, but she has tons of different ones on her website. So again, it will be linked down below. I'm very excited about this one. So I have to quickly, and by quickly, I mean probably not very quickly at all because I talk so much, but T-I-J-N eyewear, they were so nice. Ah, they were so nice. And they sent me three different pairs of glasses and they are so cute. Here. I'll just, I'll just show them to you. I'll just, you know, put them on my face. Like, just so... Mm. I just think that they're really cute. I think the quality is really nice. This one has a beautiful, like, tortoise-type print on them, and I think they're very cute. Um, you can get your prescription in them, if that's what you're looking for. And then I believe that there is an option to have blue light in them as well, if that is something that you're interested in. And then these ones I have shown on the gram before. Just like basic, but so cute. So cute. I'm just obsessed. These ones are just gold. But I just think that they are just so cute, and I am so obsessed with them. I think that they can really like spice up any outfit. I have a really... <laughs> I'm blind okay like I'm really really blind so I technically would need to have a prescription in them but I opted out of it because my prescription is so intense that it makes my eyes like 27 <laughs> times the size that they normally are and I'm just not into that um, so I didn't get prescription in mine but there is an option for you to do that if you would like and then they did send over these pairs right here of sunglasses oh just like really cute, right? These lights are really bright. I might need to wear these for the whole flip flapping video. These are absolutely favorite. They really spice up any outfit. They make every, I don't know, there's just something about glasses that give you a completely different vibe that I just think is so cute. So cute. Um, so yes, I needed to mention my TIJN eyewear. Absolutely obsessed. So cute. Next up, I have a perfume that I wanted to talk about. Um, this is the Replica coffee break perfume there is something that is so I don't know I don't know so like calming to me about this fragrance if you have not smelled the replica perfumes they are so unique they pretty much name everything like they have one that's called like the library or coffee break like they have very unique names and it really does kind of give you an experience with every single perfume which I think is absolutely incredible. This one in particular is definitely a cleaner fragrance I would say. I typically go towards sweeter fragrances for the most part but there was just something about this one that I I couldn't let go like it had to come home with me and I am so so glad that I decided to keep it because it just ugh. And it lasts such a long time. I don't even know how to describe this. It's a cleaner, sweeter fragrance. But there's something about this that is unlike anything else really that I've smelled. All of the replica fragrances are absolutely incredible. And if you have not smelled this one, Coffee Break, please do so. Just go smell it. It's at Sephora. They're quite expensive. So if you're balling on a budget like me, get the small one. It's lovely. It lasts such a long time and I am so obsessed. Last couple bits that I have in this cute little bag is makeup and hair things, which we're all about on this channel. So next I'm going to chat about the Smashbox Halo Foundation. Foundation? Tinted Moisturizer. Absolutely obsessed with this. The coverage that you get with this is fantastic like so good. I got mine in the shade light medium. I think next time around I would go a little bit lighter because this is a little bit it's like ooh. 
you almost don't match kind of shade. I can say that I personally like this with a sponge a lot more than I like it with a brush. And I just think it is end all be all probably my absolute favorite tinted moisturizer I have ever put on my face. It is so healthy looking that you look like you just drink your water, you eat your greens. There's like almost, there's a sheen to your skin that Ugh, I just, I'm so, so, so obsessed with it. I pretty much wear it every single day. I have it on my skin right now, and I just think it is absolutely beautiful. If you're in the market for a tinted moisturizer, look no further. Give this one a shot, please. It is so good. You will not regret it. If you like glowy, glass-like skin, mm, youthful, yum, right here. Smashbox Halo. Speaking of delicious glow, hopefully you can see it. Um, I saw a TikTok. I feel like the best stories come out of. I saw on TikTok, or I saw someone on TikTok. Honestly, what were we doing before TikTok? I don't even know. I spend too much time on there. I'm not gonna lie, way too much time. Should I do a TikTok? Do you guys think that I should do TikTok? Let me know your thoughts. That'd be great. I saw somebody say that Mario, Makeup by Mario, we know Kim K's dude that does her makeup, um, uses this as like a highlight almost. This is the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream. So this absolutely is not meant to be a highlight at all. Um, it's meant to be like a skin protectant. It's very much so like a Vaseline type texture. Here I can show you. And there is a slight like red tint to it as well. Um, but you put this on the top parts of your cheeks and it is the most natural looking, like, ugh, no sparkle obviously at all. It is absolutely stunning. Like, this is the consistency right here. So it's almost like a gloss or like a Vaseline type texture to it. But putting this on the tops of your cheekbones as a highlight, done absolutely done for. I don't know if I will ever really return to a normal highlight because I'm so, so obsessed with the way that this looks. It's just so natural. Like, it honestly looks like your own skin is oiling out just on the perfect spots, you know? Like, I'm just gonna be really oily right here and call it a day. I just think it's absolutely stunning. There is a slight, like, rose hip scent to it, so if you are sensitive to fragrances, please be aware of that. Um, but it's absolutely beautiful. I literally am so obsessed with it. It's like the absolute perfect liquid highlighter, but it's not even meant to be a liquid highlighter. It's literally meant to be like a skin protectant. <sighs> Best find of 2021, I think 2021, yes, 2021 that I have is definitely that one. Please try it, please, please. Thank you to the girl on TikTok too. My cheekbones, thank you. Speaking of cheeks, I have the Rare Beauty blush, the liquid blush. So, you guys saw my Stay Vulnerable video, or you probably did. If you haven't, go check it out. It's on my YouTube channel. Um, but, I must say that I think I like the application of these more. I really do. There's something about sticking my finger inside of a um, compact to place onto my skin several different times that just doesn't really sit right with me. I don't know what it is about it. Um, I love that this one has a wand to it and it gives a very, very similar finish in my opinion as the um, melting blushes do. Um, so this one does have a little doe foot applicator on there. This one is in the shade Joy and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I personally take some, put it on the back of my hand, I take a dry sponge, kind of like dab it out, and then I'll take my wet sponge, dab it, and then I'll place it. So it's not like super intense, but it just gives the most natural looking flush to your skin. I actually think it's like one of my absolute favorite products. I didn't think that I would be a major blush girl, but 2021 had something else planned for me and I'm not upset about it. I think it's absolutely stunning. What more do you want than for your face to look like it naturally does the things that makeup does? What more do you want? I mean, it's still makeup doing it for you, but you want to make it look like it's just you. This is just the way I am. I'm naturally flushed. Amanda, what are you wearing on your lips? I'd love to tell ya. That was a great segue, thank you. This is the NYX uh, Nutmeg Lip Liner right here. I think the color of this is absolutely stunning. I was having a really hard time like finding lip colors that I liked for a minute there, and I don't don't know why. 
I think the look of a darker border with a nude on top is definitely my, more my cup of tea than what I was doing, which was a light lip line with a light color. I think this gives more definition to the lips, and I think it's absolutely stunning. Um, so this right here, that is Nutmeg. And then the lipstick that I've been obsessed with, which my BFF got me for Christmas, thanks Summer, um, is the Milk Skills lipstick. Let's see if I can get on there. But these two together literally just give the most perfect, like, ombre type lip that you could ever ask for. I've had this on for a minute, so it kind of looks like trash, so please ignore that. Um, but I just absolutely love the formula of both of those. I think they're stunning. The NYX lip liner is literally like $4, so you really cannot go wrong with that at all if you're in the market for some lip liners. I honestly went on Ulta and just grabbed a couple different ones just to try out, and that's the one that I fell in love with the most. So maybe give that a shot. You're not breaking the bank either, which is always good. All right, my friends. We have two more products. They're both hair related, so saving the best for last. I have first this Wow Color Wow Dream Coat Supernatural Spray. It's very um, reflective, so hopefully you can see that okay. Um, this spray is absolutely life-changing, and I don't know what I was doing beforehand. So this is technically supposed to help with humidity type things, um, but it leaves your hair so shiny and silky that those two right there, that's all I needed. My hair doesn't really have a ton of issue with like humidity because she's like flat <laughs> all the time, so I don't really have to worry about that too much. Um, but the amount of like shine and silkiness that this gives you is incredible. So you really are only supposed to use this every three washes. I know this bottle looks really small, and that's because it is, but it says that you use every three to four shampoos, shampoo, condition, towel dry your hair, divide into sections, spray each section liberally, comb through, blow dry each section using tension. So um, when I'm doing it, I will section off my hair, obviously, pull out whatever spot I need, spray each section, and then, next favorite, I will use my Revlon, I don't know exactly what this is called, but like, high hair dryer brush type thing, and I will use this and kind of just like pull, and then like curl at the end, and it gives you like almost a blowout type feeling. So you have like the silky and shiny from this product, and then you have the volume and Mm. curl at the end of your hair with this bad boy. It's really, really nice though. It does get very hot, so keep that in mind. You have a um, cool, low, and high setting on here. I typically will just crank it up to high. Um, my hair dries quite quickly, so I don't have to worry too much about going over it a ton of times. My biggest thing that I focus on with this is I make sure to try and get as close to the root as possible and like pull so I'm able to get as much volume as I can, and I am so obsessed with it. I just don't think that I will ever use like a normal blow dryer again. I really like the Revlon one. I know that there are other companies that sell something very similar to this. Um, I just personally didn't want to bite the bullet and spend the extra money. Um, and I think this one really does the job, to be 100% honest with you. I got this, I believe I got this on Amazon, if I remember right, or Target, one of the two. I think it's $40 or something like that. If you're interested in a tool like this, try the Revlon one. I personally really like it. Just be careful because it does get really hot. Um, so there are a couple times I'll have it on high and then I'm like, okay, chill, sir. And then I'll turn it on low and it's not as, it doesn't get as <laughs> scary on your head. That duo together has been like a must. I do it once a week. That's the only heat that I put on my hair is this. That's how you know it's good, is I will risk putting heat on my hair for those two together. It's stunning. All right, my sweet friends, that is it for today's video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, make sure to subscribe down below if you have yet to do so. I will also have all of the products linked down below for you if you wanted to check any of them out. Help yourself to those down there. And then I will also have my Instagram linked down there if you would like to follow me on the gram. That'd be great. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Um, you are recording. <laughs> you smash, I can't say that word, I just can't. Smash box. Smash box. Smash box. Okay. This smash box.